to begin, come and stand at the top of the mat, feet hip width apart and parallel. Spread the toes, feel the weight rooting evenly in all four corners of the feet. Send the hips forward and back. Soften the backs of the knees and then lengthen your tailbone to the space between your heels. Feel your hips lift slightly up towards your chin. And now that we've lengthened the low back, feel the heart grow tall. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way. Deepening now, inhale, take a huge breath in, filling bottom of the torso to the top, expanding the circumference of the torso in all directions. Exhale, let it go. Again, close the eyes, huge deep breath in. Imagine your interior space of your rib cage, like a giant dome filling with air. This time, exhale fully, so much so that your core navel pulls back into your body just a touch as you get all the air out. Final time, huge deep breath in. And visualizing the inside of your torso like a giant cathedral filling with breath, doming up. And then exhale through the teeth to really slow the exhale down. Pull the navel back to get all the air out. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, deep breath in. Do that same exhale through the teeth as you float the arms down, trying to make the exhale as slow as possible. Once more, inhale, arms rise, ribcage expands, torso widens. Exhale through the teeth really feeling that air element exit the body get all the breath out feel the core engage at the end inhaling reaching up exhaling bowing forward you can bend the knees breathe in half lift Exhale, step back to a downward facing dog. Pedal through the legs. Feel into the whole body here. Inhale, widen the kidney band. So feel your low back get wider as you breathe in in this dog. Exhale, pull the navel up towards the ceiling. Inhale, rock forward to plank. Exhale, feel that pull of the navel back, downward facing dog. Two more, inhale, rock forward to plank, shoulders over hips, thighs engaged, inner thighs spin to the ceiling and lift. Exhale, down dog. Pulling from that deep core, last time rocking forward. Exhale, pulls you back. Breathing in. Breathing out. Step or walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around and up. Exhale, just drift the right hand to the hip or the thigh. Inhale, get taller through the left fingertips. Exhale, side bend to the right. Deep breath in and out. 
Now soften the backs of both knees, lengthen the tailbone towards the heels and the side bend. And then maybe allow the left knee to bend deeply. So this becomes a little bit asymmetrical, but you just get the deepest possible stretch you can in the left side body. So more of the weight is on the right foot, left knee is deeply bent. Reach, 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 reach. Inhale, take it up. Both arms reach towards the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Feel the rib cage widen as you breathe in. Exhale, step back, plank, your choice, chaturanga, or lower all the way to the floor. Cobra, all meeting, downward facing dog. Pedal the legs. Breathe into the back body so the low back widens. Exhale, finding those deep core muscles so there's less weight in your wrists and your shoulders as you send the sits bones to the sky. Inhaling big. Exhaling step or walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Stay in this fold, bend the left knee deeply once again, just like we did before. This time, left hand stays on the floor, right arm reaches up to the sky. Feel a big stretch in that right IT band. Left hand can also come to a block or left elbow can rest on the left thigh. If it feels better for you. Left elbow to left thigh, you really leverage the elbow into the thigh to spiral your heart towards the right. If the hand is on a floor of the block, same thing. Pressure down into whatever the left hand or elbow is on to send your heart towards the right wall, right fingertips towards the sky. Last huge breath here. Exhale, interlace the hands behind the low back and fold, knees deeply bent. Breathing in and out. Once more in. Hands released to the floor. Inhale, half lift. Breathe out, fold. Inhale, circle the arms down, around and up. Reach up. This time left hand comes to the left thigh or hip. Right arm reaches up and over. Lateral side bend, stretching the rib cage wider now on the right side. Soften the shoulders away from the face. Inhale, huge into the right side of the body, imagining the body staying between two panes of glass here. And then soften behind the knees, micro bend. Lengthen the tailbone down. And now allow those two panes of glass to release. So maybe things become Light, slightly less symmetrical. You're gonna bend deeply into your right knee, but all your weight is on your left foot. So weight is on the left foot. Right knee is deeply bent and see if that helps you get a deeper stretch on the right side. So the hips are torquing slightly, that's okay. Just for today's focus, inhale. Can you find more space for breath in the right ribs? Exhale completely. And then inhale, send both arms up. Breathe out, fold. Your in breath, half lift. Your out breath, step it back, plank, chaturanga, or skip it. You can always take cobra, lowering all the way to the floor. We'll all meet. Downward facing dog. Take a huge inhale in this dog. Exhale through the teeth again as you hold your dog. Feel the abs catch at the very bottom of that. Exhale, inhale, huge. Is there more space in the side ribs? Exhale. Through the teeth, get all the air out. Inhale, step, walk, or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale and fold. 
Right hand to the ground this time. Left arm reaches towards the sky. Right knee bends deeply. So you can always rest that right elbow on the right thigh. Use the right elbow as leverage to spin the heart towards the left wall. Left fingertips reach towards the ceiling. Dip the chin in. Notice where your weight is on the feet. Maybe take the hips forward to the side and back. Wherever you are, left hand or elbow really leverages into whatever it's on to twist you even deeper. We're looking for IT band stretch on the outer left hip. Last huge breath in. And out. Inhale. Exhale, both arms come down to the ground. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step it back, plank, chaturanga, final time, or you can just hold dog. We're all gonna meet in downward facing dog, huge breath in. And then together, drop the knees, child's pose. Sink the hips to the heels. Once again, inhale into that kidney band, widening the low back, filling the back body with breath. Exhaling, completely surrender. Press yourself up. From here, come into an all fours position and take the left knee behind the right knee and sit back so you're in Gomukhasana pretzel legs. And if this is too much for you or you're new to the practice, just sit in cross legs instead. So you'll just sit in easy seat with the right leg in front in your simple cross-legged seat. Otherwise, Gomukhasana, you can always sit up on a block or blanket. Look that the heels are equidistant from your hips. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, drop the left hand to the outside of the left hip and reach the right arm up and over. Take the right hand behind the head. Press the head into the right hand. On your in-breath, you're gonna make this corkscrew motion because it's all about the rib cage and the breath today. So as you inhale, take your right elbow behind you Kind of gaze up towards the ceiling, pressure down through the left palm. As you exhale, send that right elbow all the way to face your left wrist. Kind of bow down and in. Once again, inhale, you spiral open. Press the head into the hand. Exhale, coming into a twist. Once more, in, and out, and inhale, reaching up, both arms reach up, and taking the right hand down, we're doing the same thing other side. So this time left hand cups the skull, inhale, open, exhale, Left elbow lasers in towards that right wrist. Breathing in. Exhaling, rounding in this corkscrew motion. Last time, breathing in. Exhale, round. This time stay here. Take the left elbow to the outside of that top right thigh and then make a fist with the right hand and the left hand's gonna wrap over that fist. Root the sitting bones down, inhale, spine gets long. Exhale, press the left elbow into the top right thigh to twist. Take the head back in space. So the throat can be easy and soft, face soft. 
two more breaths here exploring this action. Then come back to center, both arms reach up. And exhale, fold forward. Make sure the sitting bones stay on the ground, whether you're in cross legs or gomukhasana. And make a stack of blocks for your head. Or just let the head hang if you don't have props available, but best if you can have the forehead pressuring down to something, even if it's just a coffee table or stack of pillows or cushions. Inhale deeply now into the low back and exhale through the teeth like we've been doing. Until every last little piece of breath comes out. Again like that, huge inhale. Noticing if the ribs feel any freer after all this work we've done, exhale. Last time, your deepest in. Fill the ribs from bottom to top. Torso fills with breath, bottom to top. Your exhale. Surrender completely. Hold. Your next inhale, press yourself up. Come back to an all fours position, so uncross the legs. Shake it out with just some cat-cow or intuitive movement. So inhale, up cat. Exhale, down cat, round. If you wanna kinda take the hips side to side, any movements you need. And then we'll set up to do this on the other side. So we're going to take now the right knee behind the left. So if you're sitting in simple cross legs, you'll just have the left leg in front. Gomukhasana, it's right knee behind the left. Sit back, make sure those heels are equidistant from the hips, setting up any props you need. Inhale, reaching up. Exhaling, first right hand reaches towards the ground. Left arm stretches up and over. Deep breath here. Just pinning that left sitting bone down into the earth, pressuring down through the right palm. So there's a lot of length on both sides of the body. Take the left hand to cradle the occiput, back of the neck. Inhale, left elbow opens towards the ceiling. You gaze up at the sky. On the in, on the out breath, that left elbow travels towards the right wrist. Bow into yourself two more times, inhaling. Exhaling. Right hand could always be on a block as well if you're having trouble making contact with the floor. Huge in. Huge out. Inhale, both arms reach up. And exhale, taking it to the other side. Left hand down, right arm up. Feel the side stretch first. Pin the right sitting bone down into the ground. And then bend the right elbow. Hand cradles the head. Inhale, right elbow up, open the chest. Exhale, even find that breath here if it's helpful. Right elbow really points towards the left hand. Two more times on your own. This is really your own pace and exploration at this point. We're seeking more space for air. 
Trying to dislodge any stickiness in the rib cage. Trying to figure out how we can breathe deeper. After your next one, stay with the right elbow pointing towards the floor and then take the right elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Left hand into a fist this time. Right hand wraps around that left fist. Inhale, get taller as you root the sitting bones down, send the crown of head away. Exhale, play this twist. Breathing in. And out. Once more, in. And out. Inhale back to center, both arms reach up and exhale, fold forward. And whatever setup you had on the first side, just let that go because you might need a completely different arrangement on this side. So starting with a fresh mindset, what props do you need here? Huge breath in, widening the kidney band, the back of the body, inflating interiorly from bottom to top, exhaling through the teeth, two more, Fullest, deepest breath now. After your next exhale, slowly press yourself up. Come forward to all fours, rock around, shake out the hips, cat cow, circles, whatever it is that you need sort of integrate and then come to sit take the soles of the feet on the mat in front of you come down onto the elbows it's okay if the shoulders lift towards the ears slightly just here and just take the knees from side to side just windshield wiper the legs From here you can lie back into a Shavasana or if you prefer to end your practice seated, press yourself up into a cross-legged seat. Rest and stay here for as long as 